Okay, which Bible version should you read and believe? To understand why it matters, um, you have to understand why God gave us the Bible. So, what is the purpose of the Bible? There are at least seven purposes of the Bible. Number one, the Bible obviously tells us what God thinks. 1 Thessalonians 2.13 For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when ye received the word of God which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth the word of God. 2 Timothy 3.16 All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Number two, the Bible tells us what is true and what is false. Acts 17.11 these were more noble in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. Romans 15.4 Talking about things that were written in the Old Testament. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Number three, the Bible tells us right from wrong what to do and what not to do. Mark 12, 24 And Jesus answering said unto them, Do ye not therefore err, because ye know not the scriptures? 2 Timothy 2, 15 Study to show thyself approved unto God, rightly dividing the word of truth. Psalms 119, uh, 105 Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. 1 Corinthians uh, ten eleven. Now all these things that happened in the Old Testament, now all these things happened unto them for in samples, and they are written for our admonition. Second Timothy three. All scripture is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Um, number four, the Bible gives us faith. First John five. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. So even if you have faith, it, the Word of God will strengthen your faith. James 1.21 Receive with meekness the engrafted Word, which is able to save your souls. Now why does it say that? Because we're saved by grace through faith. And... Romans 10.17 says, Then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. In John 5, Jesus said, Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. It's the scriptures that tell us about Jesus. Acts 18.28, for he, talking about Apollos, for he mightily convinced the Jews, showing by the scriptures that Jesus was Christ. 2 Timothy 3.15 The holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Okay, Number 5. The Bible is essential for spiritual growth. Acts 20.32 I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. Several times in the Bible, the Word of God is compared to food. It's compared to meat, milk, water, and bread. The Word of God builds us up. It's our spiritual food. Psalms 119. The entrance of thy words giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. John 15.3. Jesus said, Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. John 17:17 17, 17, Sanctify them through thy truth thy word is truth Psalms 119:9 Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word Psalms 119:50 This is my comfort in my affliction for thy word hath quickened me 2 Timothy 3:16 through 17 All scripture is given that the man of God may be perfect Truly furnished unto all good works. 1 John 2, 1 These things write I unto you, that ye sin not. Number 6 We can be blessed through the Bible. James 1, 22-25 Doers of the word shall be blessed. 
Revelations 1 3 Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of the prophecy and of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. The Bible helps us get prayer answered. John 15 7 Jesus said, If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. And number seven, the Bible is our offensive weapon. Ephesians 6, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Luke 4, 8, Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written. Jesus was fighting off the devil. He was quoting scripture. So the Bible helps us fight temptation. Psalms 1, 19, 10 through 11. Let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. So how important is the Bible? Psalms 138 says, Thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. John 14, 23, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him. Luke 9, 26, For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed. John 8, 31-37 Then Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. John 12, 48 He that, re he that rejecteth me, and receiveth not my words, hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day.